hey 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 welcome back to my channel if you're new you're welcome and i hope you stay today i'm bringing to you the chocolate cream caramel i have a video of the classic cream caramel if you want to check it out i'll leave the link in the description box without wasting time let's just get started so first i've got four ceramic bowls over here i'll just get them ready for the base I'll put a pan on fire and come in with about 3 to 4 tablespoonful of white sugar. I'll squeeze in a little bit of lemon. Come in with about 50 ml of water and I'll put it on low fire. I'll mix it up till it turns caramel brown. So as you can see it's ready, I'll put off the fire. I'll pour the caramel into the ceramic bowls. I'll give it a little swirl to spread it on the base. Afterwards, I'll set this aside for later. I'll get a pan and come in with about 350 ml of milk. Here, I'm using the full cream milk. Next, I'll break in some fondant chocolate. Here, we don't have a right or wrong amount. It depends on how you want it. Afterwards, I'll drop in some vanilla essence. I'll put it on very low fire and warm it up. When the chocolate completely melts in the milk, it is ready. I'll go ahead and put off the fire. I'll get a bowl and come in with two whole eggs and one egg yolk. With the help of my fork, I'll whip everything up. Now I'll get my chocolate milk and pour it into my egg mixture. I'll go ahead and give it a good mix. I'll go ahead and strain it to give it a very smooth finish. I'll get my ceramic bowls and pour the egg and milk mixture into them. Afterwards, I'll come in with an aluminium foil. I'll cover the top with the foil. I'll put a large enough pan on fire and come in with some water. Next, I'll put the bowls into the pan. The water should cover the base of the ceramic bowls. I'll cover this up and let it cook on low to medium fire for about 40 minutes. I'll get a toothpick and dip it into the cream caramel. If it doesn't leave any liquid on it, it means it's ready. I'll get the mouth and let it cool down. After it has cooled down completely, I will cover it up with some plastic wrap. Then I'll put it in the fridge for about two to three hours. After about three hours, I'll get it out of the fridge and with the help of my knife, I will just scrape the sides to make removal very easy. Now our chocolate cream caramel is ready. I must confess, you can't stop at one. As you can see, it was so easy to make. It's so delicious and kids are going to love this. If you give this a try, let me know how it comes out for you. If you've not subscribed, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to leave me a big fat thumbs up and don't forget to share this video with family and friends. Until next time, I am going to see you again with another nice and interesting one. Bye bye.